This is coverage of the PGA Tour. Hello again and welcome, Rich Lerner, alongside Frank Navolo. Really looking forward to the action today here at Whistling Straits. What a stunning layout overlooking Lake Michigan here in Kohler, Wisconsin. And what a great test, Frank, kind of a, a, at least in terms of the look, a seaside lynx. It, it is. It's also one of those golf courses, Rich, that you normally play better the second time around. And the reason why I say that, Peak Dye is the master of visual intimidation. So when you first play Whistling Straits, you'll think some of those lines are much tougher or you'll go to the wrong side. Once you've been around there once, you realize, aha, I've got to hit it down the right rather than the left and things start to make more sense. But Frank, in true Lynx golf, you can generally run the ball up along that ground. Here, you have to put it up in the air, don't you? You certainly do, yeah. It's Lynx golf played through the year. All set, ready to go. First tee at the PGA Championship. And Frank, what's ahead? Well, if you want to put your big boy pants on, you can put it all the way in the back. They're at 493 yards. That's hardly a soft opening hole. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Tyler came up leaning on a sage old driving range pro for advice. Never use video equipment to analyze his swing. It, it's his own golf swing, Frank. Yeah, he's, he's part Johnny Depp, part Evil Knievel when he's out uh, playing a game of golf these days. But cut his hair in 2014, and his game has continued to get better. That is green in regulation as the approach shot hits the first green. But he is by no means in for par yet. A lengthy putt coming up. Pretty good stroke right there. Just hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. And so just getting started, even par so far. Frank Bold is beautiful here at Whistling Straits, and this second hole is for the Bold, isn't it? Well, even though it's just under 600 yards, it is reachable for the long hitters. Uh, ideally, you want to hit it down the left side, because that way you can see the green. Um, there is bunkers left, and there is bunkers right. Long drive, but a bad lot. A uh, wicket. Just in the first cut of rough, not a bad lie. The only issue is he might get a jumper here. So missed the fairway. And now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Playing his third here at the par five. So on the putting surface and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. Dollar has this for birdie. Oh, what happened there, Frank? See what Ricky Fowler does with this putt. Still playing even for the day after the par. Now the stunning 188-yard par 3 third here at Whistling Straits. Yeah, the green angles to left. You have to be careful because it's well protected by those huge bunkers and dunes on the left. Well, that's how it's done. The approach shot is within 10 feet. And another good look. These putts keep the round together. In red figures, one under par. So off the par three third, now a beefy par four, Frank. And it's called glory. And make four here, give yourself a self five. Oh, and it 
gets a good kick. It's only in the first cut. Not too That's bad. not too bad. Frank, I like the way he sort of starts his swing a little bit on the outside and then drops it right on plane. Now, this is not heading in the right direction. Well, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Solid play, heart of the green. Just a little tap in here. Did the job right there. Frank, you don't see holes like the fifth here at Whistling Straits all that often, do you? And not just the shape of the hole, the length. Um, Pete Dyer's managed to put both the length and the design of the hole together to make it brutally tough, but at the same time, uh, strategically brilliant. This ball never even looked like it was going down the field, like hitting way right. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Yeah. This one doesn't look good. There's water in the water. Too bad. After hitting it in the drink, this is the fourth shot. Yeah, it's hard to imagine. Uh, the scorecard is uh, quickly adding up. Shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. Oh, no, look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is, this is going, going, gone. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. So with that, the score is now at even par. Frank, how do you like this par four sixth hole, a little more than 400 yards? Really, you try not to overthink this one. Just find some fairway down there around the 280, 300. You really simple second shot in here. It is long and long, and, and that with a little bit of breeze behind, it's long. He rode the wind there to payday. He's going to have a good look coming up. Well played. Oh, good look at Birdie. That's a sneaky distance. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. That's a par. And that keeps the scorecard clean, still even for the round. On the seventh tee now, and a tricky 221-yard par three. If you have a look at the way in which Pete Dye has designed this hole, you can see that the green shapes away to the right. So if you can bring the ball in from the left, it's certainly desirable. Oh, this is right at it. Not terrible, but not his best. An outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really... It was a, a rather poor approach shot. So a long putt there and just didn't read it quite right. Fowler attempting this for par. 
that's a nice confidence builder right there. You make those for par, and you keep things steady. Frank, just tons of bunkers on the right. You hope the wind is in your favor. Yeah, and sadly, your mind just about picks up on each and every one of them. Pays a price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. You'll need a bit of force to extract one out of there. Good looking shot right here. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. He has a 12-footer here. Come on. Don't do that. Cruel lip out. So, they'll tap in. Drops it. And he's at even par. Frank, how's the ninth hole here at Weston Straits? Not exactly the easiest way to finish the front nine, that's for sure. Slight bend to the right. Um, ideally, you want to hit it down that left side. Otherwise, you might be blocked out with that second shot. What a great shot. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. No snack, though. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. You've let one go. Gotta really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Strong wind here early in the round. How do you think this is going to affect the players, Frank? Well, they've got to be clever on a club selection and the type of shot they want to hit. Now. Those are good numbers right there. 3-2-0. 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. Oh, nice strike, Rich. Not quite directly in line with the flag. Just drifting a bit to the right, but he'll settle. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Locked in on the read and the speed. Frank, he might like this one. He might like it. Well, that just brings a smile to your face, puts a little pep in the step when you make it from downtown. We're now at the 11th hole, and this is a huge par five. 645 yards, Frank, that's a biggie. And plus, this hole bends to the right, which sort of makes you think that you can hit it down the right side. But if you miss down the right, there's just a multitude of bunkers that'll swallow up that ball, and you're nearly guaranteed to make at least six. It is nice to have that one in your bag, to be able to hit it that long. Yeah, that has to be at least 315 yards. Now the second shot to the par five.
part of this back nine on a good approach shot. And I'll have this for birdie. Ricky can pick up a shot right here. Wow, I thought he made that. You want to know the difference between good scores and average scores? That, right there. Just a couple of feet. Solid par to remain one under. Back to the action here at the 12th. It is a par three, and Frank, a little bit of a breather, at least in terms of yardage. Well, that's about, that's about it, because this green is one of the most undulating on the golf course. Uh, I doubt there's a flat spot on this green. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Just a pure strike and a perfect result. He'll have a good look at birdie now. These putts keep the round together. Has to like that one. Another birdie to get to two under par. Onto the 13th, and this par four, Frank, they lovingly call cliffhanger. How do you deal with these... 402 yards, Frank. Really, you got to pick a, a spot down the left side. Even where the rough is, isn't really such a bad line. Keep it down there, let everything kick to the right, but you have to avoid missing right here. Well, this looks good. Certainly is. He just blasted that one down the fairway. Out there about 325 yards. These are fun shots to play, but they can be scary because it, it, you don't take the right club. This ball could sail forever, never come down. It is well down the hill to that green. That's a beautiful shot, and that sets him up for a really easy putt. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Takes it to three under for the day. Frank, any major championship gives you a good mix of holes. We've had some long ones, and now this one just under 400 yards. But it will punish you if you're offline. There's trouble left and the mounds and the bunkers on the right. So ideally, it's a positional tee shot. But this one has a chance to be really good. Second shot now for Ricky Fowler. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. You know what's better than two birdies in a row? What's that? Three. That's what he's going for. That's a turkey in bowling, isn't it? He's no turkey. So the four under with a second straight bird. Frank, lots of sand and beach in view here at the 15th. Yeah, this starts a uh, tremendous four-hole run to the clubhouse. And uh, this is going to require your best tee shot. Maybe a little fade off the tee would keep it away from those bunkers on the left and set up that second shot. Well, the tee shot has landed in the bunker. Frank, just a slight miss off the tee. He's in the fairway bunker. Yeah, I just really got to pick the right club once again. Sometimes you take a little bit more club out of the fairway bunker, choke down. The second shot. Oh, it looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. Well, it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Anything you do differently with your setup? Um, just dig my feet into the sand a little bit more, but make sure you focus on the exact spot on the ball you want to hit. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. In the thick stuff. Thick? It's brutal out there. Frank, what's the best way to get at the golf ball when it's sitting down just a bit in the rough? 
you have to accept the fact first and foremost that you're not going to get clean contacts. You have to decide whether the ball's going to come out short or it's going to fly. Because very rarely will it come out the normal distance of what you hit on the fairway. So if it's a little thin and wispy, chances are it might fly. If it's nestled down, you're going to have to take at least another club. And he's made the green. Well, it was bound to come to an end at some point. Drops just one shot after that terrific stretch of birdies. Now the run to the finish, beginning here at the 16th, Frank. And there's certainly a chance for threes, fours, fives, sixes, you name it down here. But it's all going to start with one thing, and that's a good drive. I'm loving that balance. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300-yard club. Good poke right there. Second from an excellent lie. Just a gutsy shot right there, and a good look at Eagle coming up. Mm. This is an awkward length. intimidating par threes, most notably the 17th at TPC Sawgrass. He says this one is even more fearsome. And the reason why is the drop off on the left. It's uh, 20 feet below the level of the green. Then you've got the sand dunes on the right, where they're sort of speckled with bunkers as well. And then there's a little sliver of green grass in between. That's the green. Ricky Fowler, a Gen X superstar, ready with his approach shot. set now over the putt. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. The final hole, the 18th, in the clubhouse in the distance. Frank, it's looking like home sweet home, isn't it? Well, if you can hit the fairway here, that's one thing, but it still leaves an enormously long second shot. Frank, right where you want to be. Oh, it would be better if it was on a tee. Frank, this is money time. The approach shot here at 18. Well, there's that carry over Seven Mile Creek. That's the biggest problem. So this long iron hit into this green. You've got to take plenty of club to make sure it finds its target. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Long putt here. This will require... Good touch. not a very good read right there. Ricky looking at the lip, eyeing it for par. Finish the round with an impressive 67. Frank, that was an impressive round out there today. 
Couldn't agree more, Rich. Uh, we've seen some great shots out there, and I'm excited to see how the rest of this tournament plays out. Presented by EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour. Getting set for all the action on what my idol Vin Scully would have said was a beautiful afternoon here in the Sunshine State. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Novello for EA Sports. Getting ready at Wetlands Golf and Country Club. An interesting layout, Frank. The players are ready to go. And what are you thinking about as you get set to tee off? Well, you're thinking about you're going to play a long golf course, um, sort of mid-7,000 yard range. But uh, this is a golf course that you actually do get to hit your driver more often than not. So it's a good driving golf course. Green's relatively flat as well, but um, be careful if you're a little weak of heart. Look left or right, you might see the odd gator or two. Now down to the first tee as we get set here at the Wetlands. Par 5 opener. It's 660 yards, Frank. Better put your thinking cap on here, Rich. Um, ideally, you want to play it as a three-shot hole because there's a pond that protects the front right of the screen as well. Typical Floridian opening tee shot. Narrow, tight, and it's going to extract the best from you. So somehow fairway, fairway, then, only then, can you start think about making a birdie. Third shot, looking for a good one. Frank in a bit of trouble here at the par five, missing the green on that third shot. He's just battling to make par. And this is gonna be difficult. Another good swing, another good approach shot. Even par early on. On to the second hole, par three of 225 yards. Good hole, Frank. It certainly is, and the two bunkers, one left and one right, they remind you where not to go, but they don't really encroach on the green. So stay with a positive attitude on that tee, and you'll find that green is plenty big enough. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at Purdy. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Almost. Wow. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. And you don't want to dirty every hole. That's a par, and that keeps the scorecard clean, still even for the round. The third hole here at the Wetlands is a par four, 460 yards. Frank, it appears to be a pretty straightforward tee shot. It is, and actually, Rich, when I was watching the web.com event here, uh, this is where I saw those young, talented players really take advantage of a hole like this. Just ramrod straight. They teed it up and just ripped it down there, and these are the sort of holes they can often make three on. Bunkers sort of short left and right. Plenty of green to work with. Nice high-flying second shot will be well rewarded here. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. What do you try up next? Some snack, though. Soft hands, beautiful putt. 
Wow, check this out, Frank. Par 3 fourth, 250 yards. This really cool hole. It is. You tee off and uh, that tee shot right across the swampland into a crescent-shaped green. And, of course, it is protected by that bunker. That just cuts in. It doesn't give you very much depth on that middle line of the green. So if the pin's in the middle, that's when the hole plays its most difficult. This one, this is for far. Did the job right there. Now to the fifth hole here at the Wetlands. Par five, 635 yards. A lot going on here, Frank. The shorter hitters don't really worry about the uh, the swampland on the left because it really only cuts in to worry the longer hitters if you want to try and reach this par five and two. So shorter hitters, two good shots, set up a wedge shot. Longer hitters, are you straight enough to hit it into the narrowest part of the fairway? Great line. What a great shot. He has really hit it a long way. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. See what Ricky Fowler can come up with here on the approach. Good swing, good shot yet again. Beautiful approach shot there and a good chance to take advantage. One of the game's most electric performers, Ricky Fowler now over this birdie putt. Has to like that one, another birdie. Get to two under par. Par four sixth here at the wetlands, 440 yards and water to deal with. Two choices here, Rich. Lay it up, short of the wetlands, or, oh, well, chance it, brave enough, tee it up and flash it across the wetlands to just a mere short iron into this lengthy par four. Oh, beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. Which that tee shot there has shortened up this hole considerably. It's made a tough par four into, well, we'll see, but it looks like a very birdieable hole now. You hit it right where you want. Now he has a good chance to attack that hole location. On the green, and a chance for bird. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Frank, that's not one you're necessarily thinking about making. No, just a uh, good putt, though. There's no two ways about that. He's putting well. Holding steady now at two under par. Here at the par 5 seventh at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club, 592 yards. drive here. Another straight one. Can't ask for much more here at the seventh. He has hit a good one. Ricky Fowler grew up in California. He was actually a motocross kid. He used to jump motorcycles and he credits his aggressive style of play in golf to his early days on a motorbike. He used to just sort of look at the jump, rev it up and let it rip. And that's kind of how he plays right now. Very appealing. The young kids love him. The fashion, the flair. And he's put some substance to go with all that style. Getting set for another approach. Our featured golfer really looks dialed in at this point. Yeah, right now, this is a great feeling to have as a, as a golfer. Your swing's good. The timing, it's almost... Well, how do you like that? He's holding. Just a phenomenal play right there. On to the eighth. It's a par three. 203 yards. What's going on here, Frank? Interesting par three. Really. It, it, it looks anything other than a straightaway hole. That bunker short of the screen gives you like an optical illusion. 
you think it's lapping up with the front of this green, but there's actually you know, sort of three or four yards before you get to the putting surface. Um, a little bit of a drop off behind this green, and it narrows out the deeper the green gets. So, uh, tricky little par three. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Second shot. Good look at the green. And he's made the green. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Four under on the day. Finishing up the front side here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club with a par 5, 621 yards. Frank, that is position A. Yeah, t the tee shot was like silk, Rich. I mean, just sets up that second shot so beautifully. Getting ready for his third. Booty try up next. Starting to move in the right direction. Five under after that made putt. Setting up to start the back nine here. And if it's anywhere near as good as the front nine, Frank Hill will be very happy with his score at the end of the day. Yeah, the hardest thing right now is to just keep doing the same thing without focusing on the score. Oh, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. And it looks like it's in the rough there, Frank. It might not be as bad as it looks. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Good looking shot right here. So a longer putt coming up next, about 30 feet away. Fowler has this for par. That's not the way you want to start the back nine. Missed putt, bogey, and a drop shot. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. That puts them at four under for the round. Part four, 11, 443 yards. What's the best strategy here, Frank? Somehow find the fairway, Rich. This is brutal. Miss it left or miss it right, but... Uh... It's Florida. Fairways are wide enough, soft enough. But um, a good tee shot still going to leave you a lengthy second. Great Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf's the next one. Doesn't run out lot. It's not going to be too hard. This will require a good strike from 180 yards away. This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank. And you can really see that reflected in his mood today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. This is a long putt. Really, the key is the speed. If it drops, that's a bonus.
So a long putt there and just didn't read it quite right. Now it's at sneaky distance. Makes it right in the center. Stepping up to the tee at the first par five on this back nine. It's the 12th, and it is 576 yards. Yeah, this hole bends to the right, opposite direction to what 11 does. A good tee shot, and you can actually think about reaching this par five and two, but anything around the front or front left, still going to leave a relatively simple pitch shot. So when you stand on that tee, think of birdie at least here. Playing his second shot. Here at the par five. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Standing over this puck, concentrating on the read. Country putt right there. Up and over the roof. That's a seagull. Here we go at the part 413, 452 yards. What's the best angle of attack? Um, the straight line really is the, is the best way here, like a lot of holes on the golf course. But straight, as we know, is not often easy. Fairway does start to widen up the further out there you get it. So for the longer hitters, this hole actually plays relatively easy. For the shorter hitters, in that narrow area, that'll leave you a lengthy second shot where you just might have to bisect the two front greenside bunkers. Third shot, looking for a good one. Well, this is how you build a good round, Frank. You just keep hitting greens. Ricky looking at the lip, eyeing it for par. That is a painful miss right there. And a bogey. Drop shot here at the 13th. So a tester from four feet. Blemish on the scorecard. A bogey. Good par three here at the 14th. It's a little bit more than 200 yards, Frank. And there's a bunker short. Um, so you've got to fly that coming in there. And uh, if you do miss time one, that's when that body of water to the right really comes into play. Typical Floridian golf, but um, high flying, soft landing tee shot once again is the goal. Attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. He has this for par. Comfortably knocks it in. Final par five on the backside here at the wetlands, 590 yards. Oh, if this is up, it's good. Oh, this looks good. Certainly is. 
Just a good solid tee shot right there, about 280 yards. We're also seeing more long putters in the game. Yeah, there's a choice. If, uh, if you don't feel comfortable with a normal grip and you've got a few nerve issues, then you can, well, use a longer version, jam it in your chest, have a different fulcrum point. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Good swing, good shot yet again. Well, that's how you play the game right there. You knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Really playing some beautiful golf. That's a fifth birdie today. Moving to the 16th hole here at the Wetlands, 455-yard par four, and you can see, Frank, that green is heavily guarded. And consequently, you're really going to have to judge that second shot. You know your yardage, and also a good strikes required to safely keep the ball on the putting surface. Just an ideal lie, Frank. What can he do from here? Well, if he takes advantage of the tee shot now and goes at this flag, then he'll certainly gain on the field. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Beautiful shot, that is tight. Unbelievable, that is one to save it for the rest of the round. This is a par bid for Fowler. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Here we go at the 17th. It's a par three, and it takes one good strike. That's what you like about par threes of this length, Frank. 238 yards. Can't fake it here. You certainly can't, and that green just shapes uh, a little bit to the player's right. So the best shot to hit in here would be a little draw. And uh, that is also the avenue provided by those two bunkers. One short left and the other one back right. On the green, and a chance for Bird. Some snap, though. Just slides by. Yeah, can't afford to miss too many of those out here today. Good chance here. Currently at five under par. Impressive once again. That's a par. Remaining at five under. Final hole here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. It's par four. It's not a long one, 377 yards. There must be some trouble out there somewhere. Well, not really if you keep your wits about you. Just position the tee shot. You don't have to hit driver down here. Even a three wood's only going to leave a short iron. Keep the three wood 250, 260 yards. Do the mass, say 120 yards left. With that, with a scoring club, try and get that inside 10, 15 feet. Finish with a birdie. But if you stray, then what? Oh, no, no. We don't think of straying on this hole. This is the last hole. Got to finish well. But I'm thinking about gators. Are there gators out there? Uh, well, there's gator on the menu. Should be safely on deck. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. You've let one go. You've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important that this one goes in.